the elevation increases as the bullet is fired. Hello you two, Chester Boyer, and today we're taking a look at the RKF Cummer Vulcan Shooting Wolf figure. So you got this is the second figure in the RKF line, well the RKF-01 line. And to support this out, no, this is not part of a gimmick figure line. Nope, this is not a gimmick figure at all. So, yeah. So, so this is basically so this is basically Cummer Vulcan's um, basic form. This is called a Shooting Wolf form. So in the box you get the figure, and you get three accessories. You get two swappable hands and the Ames Shot Riser, which is the transformation device and sidearm of Cummer Vulcan and Cummer Valkyrie. So, so yeah. Let's take a look at the box. So we got our Riot Kicks figure up top. We got Cummer Vulcan Shooting Wolf. So we got Cummer Vulcan himself. So we got that going on. And so we got him. So we got him performing his rider kick, which I believe it's called the um, the bullet um, the bullet impact fever. I might be wrong on that the finishing move right there, but Nito has got 18 points of articulation, and of course here's the figure that I recently reviewed, which is the zero one rising hopper figure. Other than that. Let's get right into the figure. All right, let's take a look at the figure itself. So here's Cummer Vulcan shooting wolf. You can see he's got some wolf aesthetic going on, starting with the head. You can see Cummer kind of almost wolf ears. We've got the wolf's um, um, fur coat. Um, yeah, pretty neat. Not terrible. Um, and you can see he's got some asymmetrical armor going on. Of course, you know, that's intentional. So, don't worry about that. So, he's got two shoulder pads, which do what go up and... You no, know, he's got two shoulder pads, which go up and down. Now, with this interesting detail on the hands, um, you can see that one of them has some, has some claws, like, has some claws molded on them, while the other one doesn't. So, yeah. And, of course, here are the legs. So, we got some... So again, it represents on Wolf's fur coat. And of course on the foot, you can see he's got some claws on his foot. Well, he's got a set of claws on his foot. Again, very nice. Very, very nice little attention to de detail. So, yeah, that's nice. And of course, here's the waist. We've got the Ames Shot Riser. And of course, on both on the side of his waist, he's got two Progress key holders. Well, one on each side. So, so yeah, and of course on the back, of course, here's the back. Again, nice molded in detail. Pretty bland, but nice molded detail. So, yeah. Articulation, heads on a ball joint. I did, I, did, I did point out earlier what the shoulder pads are. So, and of course, just like the Zero One figure, the arms get shipped up and down because of that little ball joint that's inside this um, socket right there. Um, so basically, you can fold them out to the side like this, or if you leave it up like this, the shoulder pad moves out of the way, so that's which is actually pretty neat. So yeah. Aside from that, there's a we got a wrist swivel right here. We got an elbow joint, and we got a wrist swivel. The tur the articulation is the same on the other arm, so I need to point that out. And of course, we got the um, we got the um, torso articulation, which is on a ball joint. The legs can go forward, they can go back a little bit. Of course, we got the knee joint, and of course, we've got a ball jointed ankle so yeah so you can't actually get him into so you get him into a variety amount of poses if you wish you can make him perform his rider kick rider kick move so so yeah other than that pretty neat now let's take a look at the accessories so the first two we got are the swapple hands um whoops i just dropped that one so he's got two open hands and he's got the Ames Shot Riser. However, it's detached from the buckle, but with a bigger handle. So, because you can see, um, you can see it's got the same mold, you know, for the gun part, but the handlebar's a bit different. So, so what you can do is that you can remove this again for screen act for show accuracy. You can get him to you can get him to hold the Ames Shot Riser in its hand, which 
which can be a bit tricky. Oh, yeah, there we go. So there we go. Again, so you can make him hold the Ames Shot Riser. So, yep. So yeah, pretty neat. And of course, you can actually swap out his hands, um, which just get him out of there. All right, just yeah, this one's a little tricky to get out. There we go. Got that. There we go. So there we go, just like that. So you can make him do this. So you can make him do this pose, if you wish. Like he's getting ready to fight. Um, or if you want, the way how I like to pose him. Swap that hand out with this hand. And put the Ames Shot Riser in its hand. Um... You can make him do this. Actually, let's point the head in. Oh, right. There we go. There you go. Look at that. All right, get him st All right, stand. Come on. Actually, yeah, there you go. So you can make him do this pose if you wish. I mean, very neat. Very cool. So, <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty much it for the um, Cumber Vulcan Shooting Wolf figure. So, overall, the Archaea Cumber Vulcan Shooting Wolf figure is a very nice addition to your Zero One figure collection. Um, it's a lot of fun, and you do get some, you do get a bit more accessories than the Zero One figure. Not to say the Zero One figure is bad. All right, it's still a good figure. And the same opinion as this: this is a good figure. Again, just like the Zero One figure. Um, so, if, you, if you're a fan of Cumber Vulcan, and if you've been watching the show, the Cumber Zero One series, then I do recommend picking this up. It's inexpensive because, hey, it falls under the RKF line. Okay, they're the, again, they're the cheaper figure lines. So, yeah. Now, if you're going to guess, the next figure after this one is going to be the Comer Valkyrie Rushing Cheetah figure. However, that's that's going to come out until late September. Um, of course, at the time it's recording, it's like um, mid, late, early September right now. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that figure's coming out in late September. So, yeah. So that, and of course, that's going to be my next figure, my next review after this one. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I will catch you next time.